Mega B. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Sunday presented by State Farm. As the Golden State Warriors host the Denver Nuggets here in San Francisco, the fourth meeting of the season between these two teams. As we take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Jamal Murray back on the court after missing the previous game. Caldwell Pope, Porter Jr., Aaron Gordon, and the Joker on the front line. Curry and Pajemski in the backcourt for Golden State. Wiggins, Jonathan Kaminga, who has been surging of late. And Draymond Green will start at the five for Golden State. Six years old today. And Coach Steve Kerr gave him some playing time as a present. Hey, one of the best things the Warriors do, move without the basketball. That's a terrific cut and finish by Pajemski. We got a timeout on the floor with the Warriors up by five in this battle between the last two NBA champs. Back after this. The NBA on ESPN is presented all season long by State Farm. Coming up next on ESPN, the Sacramento Kings are in Los Angeles taking on Kawhi Leonard and the Los Angeles Clippers. Some sparkling numbers from the claw over the last 11 games. Boy, remember Golden State leads at 36 to 30 at the end of the first 12 minutes. Nikola Jokic to lead the way with 13 with Denver. Klay Thompson with 16 leading the way for the Warriors when we come back. Clay Thompson came out of the gate firing and he has been knocking him down. Five of eight from the three-point line, getting to all the spots on the floor. <laughs> it's been hot. You see the emotion creating space. Teammates setting screens for him. And he doesn't need a lot of time and a lot of space. And he is certainly feeling it so far tonight. Stephanie, a season high for a half is 23. Last month at Chicago. It starts with the New Orleans Pelicans taking on the Indiana Pacers at 7.30 Eastern time. Then LeBron and the Lakers squaring off against Kawhi and the Clippers. Our coverage tips at 7 with NBA Countdown. The Lakers losing a little bit earlier today on ABC against... It wouldn't have counted, but a frantic, frenetic rally to end the half by Jokic and the Denver Nuggets to knock the game at 61. And this is the fourth meeting of the season between these two teams. Denver trying to complete the season sweep. Joker with 18, Murray with 18, Clay with a hot start. He has 23 for the Warriors. Welcome back, everyone, to NBA Sunday presented by State Farm. Back in San Francisco, the jewel by the bay on a beautiful late February Sunday evening. Time now for our first half stats brought to you by Adobe. Some of the key cogent numbers, Jokic with 18, Jamal Murray with 16 of his 18 in that second quarter. And Klay Thompson with an incredible first quarter, 23 in all in the first half. Meanwhile, let's listen to the resident tones of head coach Michael Malone. The Warriors defense hemorrhaging right now. Murray has the meter running up to 23. The pride of Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. Punching the clock. Defense with the pass. So Steph Curry's not knocking him down from the three. So what does he do? He finds ways to get to the rim and deliver. Don't forget, coming up next, it's the Sacramento Kings. Domas Sabonis taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. This guy is a double, double machine, not to mention that he leads the NBA in triple doubles as well. Well, our next NBA Friday doubleheader features the Celtics and Mavericks at 7.30 Eastern time. Then the Bucks take on the Bulls in Chicago. Coverage starts at 7 with NBA countdown. Boy, what about the red hot Dallas Mavericks right now? With Fake, and that's going to be it for the third quarter. Impervious defense by the Denver Nuggets, and there's some of the important numbers so far after three quarters of play. Back for the final 12 minutes in San Francisco right after this. 
adds a totally yeah. different dynamic to this ball club. Stephanie, sometimes he's the forgotten piece, but reminding everybody of his presence on that previous drive. Back with more in a minute. The NBA on ESPN is presented all season long by State Farm. Like a good neighbor. Welcome back, everyone. Let's take a look at tonight's fresh take brought to you by Subway and some of the cogent numbers tonight. Murray leading the way for Denver with 25, Jokic with 24, both of them very efficient shooting-wise. Klay Thompson with 23 and Curry with 18 for Golden State. And keep in mind, though, that down to nine, Curry up to 20 on the night. 31 seconds away from Potential clutch time, 105-96. Welcome back, everyone, to San Francisco. A look at the work of the indomitable force that is Nikola Jokic over the last three games. He's the first player in NBA history with 14 rebounds and 14 assists in three consecutive games. It's his, incredible. Yeah, his, his stats become numbing after a while. Oh, yeah, no. that definitely went off with the foot of Caldwell Pope. Ruling on the floor out of bounds, out of bounds to Denver. I got five thousand dollars worth of LASIK <laughs> surgery that says it was off him, Stephanie. <laughs> Taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. Why Leonard leading the way is the Clippers are one of the hottest teams in the league. And George, you would have think that one of his teammates would at least buy him a new horse or something. I mean, one of those new trotters. Registered his 18th triple-double of the season. The Denver Nuggets win it behind Joker and Jamal. Sound familiar? That's all from Chase Center here in San Francisco for Stephanie White and George Sedano. We'll send it back to the studio with Malika Andrews, Michael Wilbon, Brian Windhorse, and Big Perk, Kendrick Perkins. I'm Mark Jones saying good night from San Francisco. You'll get that crew right after these messages.